Hey, Melissa, I just got your text. I got out of work and came over here as soon as I can. What's up? Are you a marketing major? Yes, I am. Um, so in one of my marketing classes, we're going over marketing positioning. Mm -hmm. What is that? Marketing positioning? It's the distinctive place that you want your product to be in the market relative to your competition. And then also where your product is in the minds of your consumer. So if I wanted to start a company at Centro, how would I use that? What kind of company are you thinking about? Mm, maybe a daycare. A daycare? Yeah. Well, then let's go over to Kathleen and have her explain how you know positioning can help out with your business. Okay, let's All go. Right. Okay, so here we have a perceptual map, which is used to measure your competition and where everything is placed based on two different dimensions. In this situation, we're using a convenience scale from high convenience to low convenience and a price scale from high price to a low price. Starting with the competition for daycare in the area of New Britain, um, there is the YWCA, which is located in downtown New Britain, so it's fairly convenient. However, the price is fairly high as well, so that would go over here on the map. Next, there's a company called Kidco, which is in Newington on the Berlin Turnpike. It also has a fairly high price, but it's a little less convenient than the YWCA because it's not quite as close to campus. So that one will go over here. Lastly, there is a, a daycare company called Mrs. D Daycare, which is a company that is run out of somebody's house. It is a little bit more on the convenient side than Kidco because it's a fairly bit closer to um, campus. However, it's not quite as convenient as YWC or anything else, but it does have a lower price than both of these. So that would go over here. So after we place the competition, you can see that there's a big open space on the map in this area where there's where the company would have um, high convenience and low price for the customers, which would clearly be the most desirable place in the customer's mind. So this would replace our company, which we're calling Little Devil's Daycare. And it would be very um, convenient because it is right on campus and students don't have to travel anywhere off of campus in between classes and whatnot to worry about their children where they are. And it would be a much lower price because it would use student workers. So they don't have to worry about it being very difficult to pay. And then on that regard as well, we would put the money right onto the CCSU bill so it's easy to pay for it just like it is for the rest of um, their tuition and fees for campus. So that will go right over here on the map. So once again, when looking at perceptual maps and positioning, it's important to first place your competition and see where everything else falls and then look for where the open spots are where you could really get an edge on the market with your new company and then try and position yourself there to really stand out in the minds of your consumers. <laughs> all right, so Melissa, did uh, Kathleen's presentation help you out at all with understanding position? Yeah, using the perceptual map actually made me understand where I would be positioned in the eyes of my competition and how I can market my product to my target audience, which is the CCSU students who have children. Awesome. I'm glad I could help. Thank you. All right. Later.